up, everyone? I'm Rufi Otaku, and I'm here to review episode 9 of Food Wars Shukugeki no Soma. And another excellent episode once again, with the heat as usual turning up. Alright, so, the Aldini Brothers versus Soma. So, after last week when we got to see their duck dish, this time Soma decided to still stick with fish. Interesting. Why would he do that? Well, as usual, Soma always has something up his sleeve, or, well, his bandana. <laughs> and this time he decided to deep fry fish with using some sort of packet thing that the teacher had, the sensei had. And it turned out well. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to choose a winner. But, oh my gosh, guys, that fish, the dish that Soma made, the crunching noise. Dat crunch dough. Oh my gosh. Like when I, I first heard the, the crunch sound effect, I was like, oh, oh, I need some of that. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I was eating at the time, but no lie. Literally, I finished my food the second when Somo served his food to the, the senpai. I was like, are you kidding me? Ah. Don't eat your food too early, guys, when you're watching the show. Do not eat it too early. And, um, what's his face? Uh, Takumi, Takumi Aldini, the blonde-haired one. I think the other brother's name is Asumi, I believe. So Takumi's all like, Soma, Yukihira Soma. One day, I will challenge you to a shokugeki. Do not deny it, or something like that. And then, so what was interesting was that on the bus, Soma, he was all like, I met this guy, and if I stayed over at my restaurant, I would have never have met him. I think Soma is liking having a worthy adversary. This is nice. Very, very nice. I cannot wait in the future till they battle once again. So, with later on in this episode, the everyone was uh, going back over to the hotel. They were so excited to finally get the true five-star hotel experience. But then they have to, each of them, each and every single one of them, have to make 50 servings for like all these like different kinds of sports clubs. One over at a university and two over like American sports teams or something like that. And they have to make 50 servings each in under an hour. And if they don't, they get expelled on the spot. Ah. The heat is so turned up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing how they're able to, you know, keep bumping up the intensity there. Ah, it's fantastic. Truly fantastic, really. How it manages to still keep you on your feet. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. Great job, guys. <laughs> and so, of course, Soma was able to pass with some free time to spare. And so he is over to the the bath, the bath section, and he runs into Erina, our Satsuki Kiryuin. It's been quite some time since they have uh, spoken to each other, or at least looked at each other face to face. So, what will happen? Is she gonna be all like, die, and then smack him or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. She looks kind of different though, in her yukata. Or her, or her bathrobe. She looked really different than she usually does. I don't know. It's because she's wearing less clothing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, catch me later on as I review Assassination Classroom, for I have finally caught up. I'm Rahim Otaku. Sayonara.